Hello viewers, welcome back to another tutorial of Easy Worship and Switcher Studio. So today I am going to show you how you can screencast your Easy Worship into Switcher Studio. I did a video like this sometimes ago about how you can screencast from your cell phone, which is your iPhone or iPad through uh, Easy Worship Remote, but today we are going to look at how you can screencast from your desktop. One thing you need to have is you must be an active member of Switcher Studio. So you're going to go into your Switcher Studio account and log in. I have the Switcher Studio um, uh, website open, so this is my personal account. So you go under download, there's a thought from the bottom and you click on download, it's going to open you to Switcher Studio iOS app, then Switcher Studio Cast for Mac OS and Switcher Studio Cast for Windows. So depending on what type of computer you are using, if you are using Mac or you are using Windows, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to look at the Windows option. Here you click on the Windows and you download the application. So if I double click on it, it's going to start downloading. As you can see at the bottom corner right here, it's downloading. So after this app has finished downloading onto your desktop, so you head over into your desktop. So this is the setup. You click on the setup and you run it. After running the setup, this is what the application looked like. I mean, when you open the switcher cast, it's going to pop up this window, switcher cast display. So I'm going to activate my computer, my computer screen. So now I have my computer screen. I have two display. So the display one is the left screen and the display two is the right screen. So on your Switcher Studio, if you look on the interface of Switcher Studio, I have display one on XPD, display two on XPD. So both display are my screen. So now from there, you bring, you bring those two display in as your source or you can use your second display which is your extended monitor as your as your source just like you bring in video source into the switcher studio so then what you need to do now is you fire up your easy worship so now the easy worship is on but if you look at it the extended monitor is not activated on the top right corner there's a live view let me bring the let me bring this screen up so that we can see what I'm saying. At the upper right corner here, there is a, a live view screen. So this live view screen, if I activate it, let's go back to double view. If I activate this extended screen, it's going to show my extended monitor. So all you just need to do is, since you bring the two source in, you just tap on the extended monitor as your source now you have your extended monitor uh, screencast into your switcher studio and the good thing about if you are using the motion background for your lyrics or your scripture you can preview the, the motion background is going to play in a, in a normal in a normal and in a real time let's quickly bring in uh, a multi view let's just bring in this multi view so if I have a, uh, a, um, a preacher and the preacher is preaching, I can easily use my multi view to combine my preacher and my scripture. Or if I just want to solo on my scripture, I can just solo my scripture on the screen. So like, for example, if, we, if the preacher is preaching and calling Genesis 1.8, if I double click on Genesis 1.8, it's going to display it on the screen. And just to let you know, if you are looking at this uh, extended monitor, you can see that the Easy Worship uh, logo is at the background. 
just because I am using a prior version of the Easy Washi. So just to let you know, I just want to put this out there. The reason why I so much like this screencast is sometimes the preacher will give you this the scriptural script of the message. When my pastor is preaching, he preach outside of the scope of scripture that he gives to me to plan my scripture because sometimes I do so I'll bring back the preacher in sometimes I do create like a lower third um, a lower third scripture for my for my pastor when he's preaching so but the thing is sometimes when they go out of the scope of this scripture all I have to fall back is I'll quickly just combine um, my screen and use the screencast of the switcher studio to project the scripture this is going to be the end of the video if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel this is an opportunity for you to do so and please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on when next i post another informative content like this so thank you until the next video be safe and have a good day. Bye.